What's up everybody, Chris, South Carolina Gun School, out here at Train and Learn 2024. I'm here with my man, Jared Yannis from Guns and Gadgets. If you don't know who this guy is, um, you're in a hole somewhere. Um, th this is an absolutely phenomenal individual right here. And if you definitely want to know what's going on within the Second Amendment industry, especially when it comes to laws, this is the gentleman that you need to be checking out. It's absolutely phenomenal how you stay on top of this stuff, man. I mean, it's, it's it really is. I know you said you're doing about usually, what, two videos a day? Yeah, during the week, two videos a day, plus all the research related to it and dealing with uh, freedom, and, uh, dealing with legislators and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a busy day. So yeah, it's, it's awesome what you do, man. Um, I know you spoke, I, and I didn't know this. I didn't realize that you were former law enforcement. Mm -hmm. So how long were you with law enforcement? 24 years. 24 years, wow. So that you kind of got a little bit better understanding of some of this stuff than a lot of us do. But yeah, the research is definitely a, a key thing with that. I mean, it's it's just, it's it seems like every time I look at my phone, it's like, damn, damn. I'm like, man, this guy is just, it, but it's, it's awesome that you stay on top of that because you know a lot of us for me i do a lot of just kind of gun gear reviews and, you know i try to keep i do try to keep everybody up to date with what goes on in my state you know because we just recently passed constitutional carry yes sir and that's it's still been a little bit you know i'm sorry to say but a little bit of a shit show with some of that stuff yeah so just making sure everybody understands because there's so much confusion around constitutional carry everybody keeps calling it open carry and i'm like no it's not it's just permitless carry, open yeah. carry i'm like there is a difference oh, yeah. here so be, making sure everybody understands that and just you know i i can't again i can't speak to what the the hard work you put in with this stuff thank you, you know? i mean my my hat's off to you now what actually i know you spoke a little bit the other night but what really got you kind of down the rabbit hole here with getting into this stuff well, I mean, the big reason is uh, I grew up kind of rough, and I, I got to see at a very young age the value of people being able to protect themselves. Because uh, no matter what happens to you or your friends or family or neighbors, there's never going to be a cop there as soon as you need it. Right? So, uh, like, if we were, were to be approached from uh, by an armed gunman right now through the woods, uh, there's no cop that's going to be here in time. It's on us to protect exactly. ourselves. Yeah, especially uh, where we're at. I yeah, mean, and we're in the middle of nowhere, and I don't even think helicopters can find us, so <laughs> right. it's on us. <laughs> Right. And uh, I, I just think everybody needs to understand that they, they have that option. I'm not forcing it on them, but if you think that your your life is valuable enough to protect or your kid or your wife or your mom or your neighborhood or your community, then you are an American. You have that option. And I, I know you talked because you kind of started like a lot of us do with holster reviews and different things yeah. like that. Is there something that happened or something you saw to really kind of may make you really just kind of focus on the just kind of the legal aspects of everything that's going on within the second minute uh back in i think it was 2016 that might even been earlier than that uh, massachusetts we used to have what you used to call massachusetts compliant assault rifle assault right. weapons right um featureless, featureless rifles and uh, the attorney general one night after a shooting in another part of the country decided to change her mind and uh, with the stroke of a pen at midnight everybody became a felon uh, and that uh, that was enough for me. Like I realized that people needed to understand that the effects opinions by legislators would have, even though they can't do that because we have constitutional rights that are given to us by our creator, not by a legislator. Amen. Uh, and people needed to understand what was happening in Massachusetts or California, because if you don't know what's going on, you'll never be prepared for when it does come to your state. And it will come to your state yes. maybe not today maybe not five years from now but the democrat party specifically the anti-gunners because there's some on the republican side too mm -hmm. uh, they have been doing this for 40 years it's a they have the long-term game and so i just want people to understand what's going on and that's a, a great thing that you bring out and i try to get people to understand is everybody wants to fuss about the presidency, the federal government. And I'm like, you need to be focusing on what's going on within your state, what's yeah. going on within your county, your city. That's really where you make that big impact. Everybody wants to focus on, oh, fuck Joe Biden, screw this. But um, it's not just him. There's, there's people that are within, even in our state, you know, Columbia, the city of Columbia, their city council snuck in red flag laws. Yep. And, you know, a lot of people were, you know, one, didn't even know what red flag laws were. 
and then two didn't even realize that it had gotten snuck in and if i'm not mistaken i think they actually have a lawsuit going on trying to get that repealed but you know i that makes sure people understand until it's repealed this is yeah in effect and i know one thing and maybe it's wrong on me you understand it a lot better than what i do and i need to get better at understanding red flag laws but when people always ask me about it i tell them to watch minority report with tom cruise oh yeah it's the biggest it's the biggest risk we have when it comes to the Second Amendment because it's a backdoor gun control. Uh, we Every state in the union has these two laws. They call them different things, but one is a domestic violence restraining order. Yes. And the other one is a, a hold where you can take somebody who is in mental crisis to see a professional either with their consent or if need be against their consent. If they're in such a, a, a situation or a mental state where they're harmed to themselves or others, right? Every state has those two. The red flag does those same things with one exception. It strips you of your guns, mm -hmm. all of your guns. In some states, you don't even know when you're going to have a hearing. The hearing to have that order is ex parte, which means you're not there. It's in secret. So you don't get to defend yourself. You don't need to. You don't get to have witnesses. You don't get to confront your accusers. It's a violation of everything, every everything. right we yeah. have. Yeah, everything. And for some reason, people buy the, the they drink the Kool-Aid thinking that that's a way we're going to have criminals stop being criminals. Uh, it's actually in the definition. Criminals don't follow law. Exactly. 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 You know, that's what, you know, big people, a lot of people were, oh, constitutional carry is just going to cry out guns, guns, you know, gunshots are going to go wild, up, wild crime's going to go up. Yeah. And I'm like, never has, never, never has it yeah. gone up. I'm like, even if it doesn't go in place, it's going to be the same because criminals don't follow the law. And I know talking with uh, Clayton with Pivotal Defense, you know, one of his friends had to deal with red flag law stuff. Yep. And it's, it's. It is, yes, it's a huge violation of everything out there possible. You know, there is no Miranda, there is no warrants. It's just you don't even get an attorney because it's civil, so you're, yeah. it's not a, cr a crime, right? So you don't get your you don't get a court appointed attorney, which means it's money out of your pocket. You miss work. You have to fight in court every time. You have to try to get your your rights re you know returned to you. And if some states require doctors to sign off it uh, off on it, that's your that's your your dollar bill too. And it, it's it's pretty much like they're coming in going, all right, you're selling. Yeah. Tag, you're it. No, ju no judge, jury, or execution. It's your felon. Yep. And you, again, you're getting your rights back. You got to get your guns back. You got to fight with the court system. And that's why I tell people a lot in my classes, I'm like, it's not a justice system. It's a legal system. Yes. And, you know, everybody looks at me like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, some of the things we might think we see as justice might not necessarily be legal right. in the eyes of that legal system. So getting re people to really understand that. But yeah, I always get people asking like, how can I get involved? City council, county council. You know, we had a big thing right before COVID started where our county was uh, pushing for the second amendment sanctuary. Thing. And that was, that was real big. And, and what really, what really shocked me was some of the county council members were like, you need all of y'all sitting out here need to be more involved than just this yep. and i was really shocked about that because a lot of them you know they don't want that big crowd you know they want to be able to sneak st sneak stuff in so i have tried to be a little bit more involved a little bit there for some of the meetings and everything but it, it is a huge difference compared to that to what some of the other meetings are you have maybe a handful there so if, you, if you're out there, you it's not the big guy that's looking over your shoulder. You need to be looking at the, the little ones up under them that are in your city, in your county, in your state. Yeah. That will make the biggest impact because those are the ones that are going to be there to influence that higher level. So get in, that's how you need to get involved. You know, and if there's stuff, I, you, I know you can definitely reach out to this man here. You know, wealth of knowledge when it comes to this stuff. And even I, I was I was glad when I heard KD was having you come because I'm I, like I like I told you, when I get into some of these analytics with the YouTube stuff, I just I, I'm, I'm a bad rabbit hole person, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bad rabbit hole person. I get way deep down in those rabbit holes and you you were tremendous help with that stuff uh i absolutely appreciate all the information and everything you know especially i was that was the, the i it, you really helped me understand what are the two main analytics i really need to focus at to help me to continue to grow this page and stuff so it's been absolutely phenomenal having you out here thank man. you brother it's my honor and, and i mean if you're also if you're looking to 
kind of maybe you want to be that influencer through the social media and stuff. I know he said that he's there for questions and stuff. And that's, that's great because like you said, there's a lot of people within social media that don't want to share that stuff because they want to be that one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I love about this event. That's what I love about people like you and stuff, being able to have that kind of open door policy. And I'm sure you get slammed with a lot of stuff. So, I mean, if you do reach out to him, I'll go ahead and don't expect him to be able to reply right away because... Yeah, please be patient. <laughs> yes, yes. And I mean, that's anybody within social media. You know, be patient. You know, sometimes it's hard. I mean, I still... My following has grown. It's still fairly small. You know, I'm creeping up on like 2100 subscribers and i know it's really more about the watch hours but just being able to try to get it because i'm one of those i want to be able to get in there and be able to reply yep. to everybody and interact with everybody and then i'm also bad about the ones that get in there and want to push those buttons and i get in there and i'm like uh, and i'm like just let it be yeah. just let them be <laughs> usually what i've started doing now is i go up and just give them that little thumbs up emoji and i just kind of move on my oh, way yeah. make their day yeah, exactly exactly jared i appreciate you taking the time to let me interview you talk about you let people get you out there more to people i appreciate you taking the time to come out this event and Thank help you, everybody because this is this has been absolutely tremendous again Jared Yanis, Guns and Gadgets. Uh, I'll have him linked in. So if you don't know about him, you want to go check him out. I'll have all of his stuff linked in with the description somewhere in the screen here as well, too. Come but, here next year. Exactly. And now that's another thing. Yes, if you are wanting to, if you're in this industry, you're wanting to get more involved, this is the event. I'm telling you, I've been here since the beginning. Every year I take information away that has helped me to continue to change my business grow my business grow the social media understand how all that works because you know when i came into it i understood social media but i didn't understand social media yep. with the algorithms and all that stuff but this is the event that you need to be at is hell or high water i will be at this event every freaking year that i can be at this event because like i said i always take stuff away but I, again i appreciate the time always remember folks if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead train to live see you on the range